Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Hope you guys had a good New Year's, Christmas, all day. It's 2019, and what better way to start the year off with a brand new FL Studio video today? I'm gonna teach you guys how to take your loops or melodies and actually crank them up to the max, make them fire, make them lit, make them godly. We're gonna take your melodies and take them to the next level, the next step, and just get that nice sound to it. So, yeah, but I ain't gonna take too long. We'll just jump right to it. You already know it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer. So, let's jump right inside of fl studio now the tips that i am going to be showing you are for fl 12 and above just because you know what it is i'm in fl 20 so you know how i do but if you got fl 12 above you should be good following it on it's only really one trick that you need fl 12 or above everything else can be applied to any daw any loop whatever it don't really matter just you know warning you now before you be like where is it slam so yeah so let's go ahead jump right into fs student do the first thing now the first tip i want to give you guys is to use your scale help function inside of fs student it is a great tool that they added to fl12 it's just an amazing tool and a lot of people just don't use it and i don't understand why so what that basically is i'll show you in your piano roll i got a little melody going here i will play it in a second so what you want to do is you want to click right here the little arrow key right here you will go to helpers and then where it says scale highlight now this is a very powerful tool because basically a music theory plugin built into fs studio a lot of DAWs are starting to incorporate stuff like this but i think fs studio right now has the best one because it has the most type of chords and scales and all that as well so i do like that so what you can do is you can pick your root note so whatever note you want to actually you know play in and then you can pick your scale and there's a ton of scales from you know minor melodic fijian arabic lydian all that good stuff pick it and use this i picked the lydian scale and I'm doing C sharp. So now what that does, all these white notes are the actual scale as in that key. So basically, if you put white notes in, wherever you put a white note, it's gonna be in the same key and scale of what you're trying to make, and it's just gonna sound good together. So keep that in mind, do that, use that scale helper feature, and you'll make some fire mills, I promise you. Here's a little loop I made real quick, and let's say, just hear what it sounds like. As you can see, all the white notes are being placed, and this is what it sounds like. Now, to a beginner, that sounds really good. You might be like, oh, man, that's fire. I'm going to do that, blah, 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 make a beat, drums, boom. But no, there's a lot more we can do with this to actually take it to the next level. So my next tip is to mess with the velocities and the timing of this whole thing. Why would you want to do that? You want to, right now, it sounds very robotic. It sounds like, you know, it was, you know, clicked in because guess what? It was just clicked in. I didn't play this out. I just put notes around there so yeah it sounds very robotic very sterile nobody plays the exact same velocity throughout the a loop or whatever if in real piano playing and drums and all that so you want to mess with the velocity the best way to do that is to hold alt and then click the r button it bring up the randomizer now most people randomizer will look like this and they're like oh what's, I don't, what's going on what's going on look all you gotta do is go to patterns uncheck that and you're good that's all you gotta do simple as that now with the randomizer you can mess with the levels you can mess with the volume the panning you can mess with the mod x the pitch and all that good stuff me i really just mess around with the velocity because that's really what it is unless i'm doing hi hats not mess with the pan so you can just randomize you can just turn it up and see how it just randomize the velocities a little bit and it just makes it a little bit more you know randomized and you also like to hit bipolar because bipolar just kind of shifts it around a little bit and then you can reset presets and you can mess with the speed and the speed is just like basic different presets depending so that's kind of cool. so you have a ton of different presets all you gotta do is hit accept and now you have this and there you go boom bam boom you got that and also if you want to do another quick shortcut if you hold control and a highlight them all and then hold the alt button and use your scroll wheel just hover over a note hits the scroll wheel you can actually lower all of them together if you select them all Neat little trick right there. And now I'm just gonna make them a little softer, so. And also I'm just using the standard Vienna Vienna. I'm using a standard piano V plugin, no keyscape, nothing like that. A basic piano from Arturia. And yeah, it's, it's already coming together. Now, like I said, what about timing slam? What's the way you can do timing? Well, one easy way to do it is to add swing to it. So if you go up here to your wrapper. That's what it's called a wrapper. You go to the little wrench tool. You can actually mess with the swing a little bit. Well, you can change how much swing it is, but if you want to mess with the swing, my bad. You gotta go up here and you can just add some swing to it. Now, this swing mode is a little bit different compared to the other one. Yeah, that's swing. It's now a, a knob, which is kind of cool. So you can add how much swing you want. So I can add 100% swing. But you know that's that's kind of cool it works 
not good. But one thing I like to do is just go in and you can nudge around the, the key. So what you want to do is if you highlight a key, if you hold control and click on the key, you can just, you know, hold alt and just hit left or right and just nudge it over just a little bit. See how I nudged it? Just, just nudge it a little bit. And I'm going to go through and just, I'm going to go real through and just kind of speed through it real quick. So let's go into the future. All right, we're back. You saw me just kind of blaze through that. So basically what I did, I just kind of nudged notes around a little bit, you know, kind of make them off timing a little bit. So it just has just a little bit more of a humanized feel. It's not perfect, but it's definitely one way to do it. So now if I play it now, like here's the original right here. So this is the one that's un, you know, unnudged and just pretty much quantized 100%. And then here's the one that's just that's kind of nudged around and kind of, you know, humanized a little bit. See how it has a little bit of a little bit of lag, a little bit of sluggishness, stuff like that. It just gives an extra humanized feel to the overall track and just makes it seem like somebody really played it. And I say I, I can definitely go in here and make it a little tighter and make it a little bit more good. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to completely quantize. But if you want to make something that has a little bit more vibe to it, I suggest just moving around. And also, if you want to, you can actually control hit control A and then hit Alt S. And you can bring up the strum function and you can just, you know, strum everything just a little bit. Just, just give it a slight little strum. So Alt S, give it a little strum. And just makes it just a little bit, gives it a little bit more character. You know, it's, it's not perfect and having something not perfect is always a good thing. So now we got that. We got the timing mixed around. We use the helper scale. We, we use the key scale and the helper tool. And we use the velocities. You know, what can we do now to make it even better? Process your sounds. That's the main thing. Right? This is what the part that you really can go ham with and just have a ball with. So I'm just going to process the sounds. Some things I like to do when it comes to making loops. I love to do a lot of the timing adjustments like slow down effect reverb delay chorus all kind of things so i'm gonna show you some of my favorite tools to use but at this point go crazy do not under process your sounds over process them it just works so the first thing i'm gonna do we're gonna try half speed we're gonna see what half speed does to this increase so let's go find half speed i got so many plugins half time i love this plugin so let's see what this sounds like okay that's too slow let's do 1.5 time Let's, let's put let's put I like to turn this little smooth knob all the way to the left. It just gives a really cool effect. So and I'm gonna change the pitch. So if we want to change the pitch, control A and then hit control up. That brings the pitch up one octave. Nah, keep it down. Okay, that's one thing right there. Next, I'm going to put on a reverse effect. One I love to do is back mask because it's free. So I love using back mask. And you can hit this little icon right here to do some cool stuff. Okay, that's good. That's good. Next plugin is this one right here. This is my little secret sauce. Arsenal. I love this or Antonio. I don't know. Whatever. It's a dope plugin. I love this little effect called chorus and it's called depth of field. Nice. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a crystallizer effect, one of my favorite sound toys plugins out there. And I'm going to turn down the mix of it.
Oh, man. Now, let's go to the before and after me processing my sound. So this is before with just everything on it. That sounds super dope. Add the effects to it to my process sound. Oh man, add some drums to that, make a cool little slow, weird, glitchy sounding beat, and there you go. That's some easy steps right there to make some amazing, godly, fire, lit, amazing, magnificent loops or melodies or whatever you want to call it right there easy. Just remember, mess with the timing of your sounds, mess with your velocity, mess with the Use them keys, use them key helper tools, use Scalar, uh, Instacore, whatever. Use the one built inside FS Studio. Use those functions if your DAW has it. And also just over process your sounds. Don't slip on a process. And now, one thing I could do, I could lo fi it, but throwing a lo fi effect, that'd be another thing I might do as well. But the point is, you want to go ham when it comes to process. Just process it, make it sound completely different. And don't be afraid. Like, say, hey, hopefully your computer can handle it, but if it can't, still do it anyway. Hey, you might get a cool result. So, with that being said, I hope these tips help you guys out 2019 is gonna be strong take these tips make some fire loops make some fire melodies make some fire beats because like i said we gotta step our game up 2019 we gotta take over so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and all that good stuff you know it's your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comment, subscribe and views and like that being said hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in the next video so subscribe and stay tuned have a good one everybody